Hi, this is Natalie Shaver for Whalers Webcast on PlymouthWhalers.com. I'm here at the Windsor Family Credit Union Center in Windsor, Ontario. I'm with Plymouth Whalers Captain Chris Terry, who has just named the first ever winner of the Mickey Reno Captain's Trophy by the league. First off, congratulations, Chris. Um, how did you find out, and uh, what was your reaction when Dave Branch told you? Uh, I found out from a phone call uh, actually earlier this week from Mr. Branch. Uh, I was on vacation actually and got a great call from him. Uh, I mean, obviously, when I first was uh, told, it was a tremendous honor to be named uh, such a great award and obviously the first recipient, but uh, a lot of joy and a lot of happiness uh, I felt. But also, this uh, credits to my teammates, uh, you know, being great, uh, great guys in the room and, you know, really, uh, you know, a great team that stuck together all year. Uh, what do you think this trophy exemplifies? Like, what characteristics do you have to have to win it? I think uh, you need strong leader qualities. I mean, uh, being able to, you know, tell a guy if they cross the line and, you know, keep uh, guys in check and making sure, you know, little things like curfew checks or, uh, you know, making sure guys are playing up to their par and, uh, you know, playing their role on the team. So uh, I think that, is that exemplifies, uh, you know, what Mickey was to the Windsor Spitfires. Uh, you also won the Dan Schneider Award uh, for Humanitarian of the Year. Uh, please talk about that and the effect that you've had on the community. Well, the community is a big part of uh, the OHL. I mean, the Plymouth Whalers, uh, you know, weren't really too known four years ago when I came back to Plymouth. But uh, over four years, it's really grown. I mean, getting on the community, uh, school visits, uh, you know, hospital visits, reading to kids. I mean, uh, it really brought, really, really, uh, it was self-enjoyment for me to see a, uh, you know, a five or six-year-old kid really uh, enjoy the time spent getting read to by, you know, Plymouth Whalers. So I, I took uh, great pride and leadership to uh, made sure that we got out in the community and, uh, you know, myself also. And uh, it turned out to be uh, a really great year, and I hope uh, in the future uh, the Whalers will continue to grow. Speaking of the future, we just have the OHL draft. What can you tell the future um, kids that were just drafted about the city of Plymouth and the team? It's a tremendous city. I mean, uh, the Whalers are a great organization. I enjoyed uh, all four years here, uh, right down from the coaching staff to the front office to uh, trainers and, and the players. I mean, uh, it's, you're treated second to none. I mean, uh, it's the best organization in my mind in the OHL. And lastly, uh, you've had four great years here, put a lot of records up on there. Um, what can the fans expect next year? Are we going to see you, or what do you think? Well, that's not – hopefully uh, – you know, if it was up to me, hopefully not. Uh, I'd like to start my pro career, but uh, sometimes it's out of my hands. But uh, I'm going to work hard so that, uh, not, no offense, not to be back here, but to, uh, you know, start my pro career. Once again, congratulations, Chris, on all your accolades. And uh, this is Natalie Shaver reporting for PlymouthWhalers.com.